I don't know what you searched for, but what you find yourself doing right now is watching Unboxing Things, a show where I unbox your favorite brands and talk all about the box. I am Jessie Janae, founder of Lumi, and here we go again. And inside my mailbox, I've got a big one. It's real big. Oh, and it's really fresh. We are unboxing freshly. Freshly is a food company that makes yummy prepared meals that you can just heat and eat. Right out of the box, no preparation. Things I can tell from the outside of the box. You've got one color printing on Kraft, and it's a Kraft RSC. RSC stands for regular, whoa, that's a note for me. Okay, so RSC stands for regular slotted container. It means it needs to be taped on the bottom and the top in order to get to you safely. And this is a normal craft color. Beautiful, I love a good craft. And then you've got this dark green color printed. Something that they're doing that's really effective is actually printing a full panel of the dark green on this side and over here. What I love about this is it actually kind of gives the feeling of a flood coated box, meaning ink all over the place, but you don't have to use that much ink. All right, on the bottom you can tell it ordered a four pack. Spoiler alert. <laughs> okay. Then also it says, whoops, I'm upside down. Mind flipping me over? I like this a lot. Humor on the outside of the box always gets me, but it's because I truly understand the nature of logistics and supply chain, which is that men and women all over the world need to carry this to you, and you gotta make them laugh. If you don't make them laugh, you're gonna make them cry, and then you're not gonna get your food. Now this box is beautifully printed, but I would like to highlight for you something that the pre-press designer on this box did to ensure that it actually gets produced correctly and still looks good. They gave themselves a little bit of wiggle room, which looks like a frame on the outside of this actual green logo panel. And this frame is a little bit smaller over here than it is over here. Now that is accounting for the shift in production that a flexographically printed box is bound to experience. These boxes are printed on huge machines. The box is flying under a printing roller at really high speeds. So by giving yourself this frame, you make sure that the print won't slip off the edge and therefore go around the corner. I'm fresh and fridge ready. Refrigerate fully cooked meals upon arrival. This is reminding me, once I receive this box, I really need to get it into the fridge. Fun copy on the side panels. Ingredients you can't spell, and they say monosodium gluteate, glu whoa, I can't even say it, okay? <laughs> Let alone spell it. But what the situation is here is communicating to me about sort of core brand tenets, that they use simple ingredients, things I can understand, things found in nature. And then, last but not least, of course, I've got my four by six thermal shipping label. Let's open this puppy up. I'm using a blade, I'm a professional. More printing on the flaps. Oh, as soon as I open this, I can see feed your appetite. So they're making it clear that they actually have a mobile app, which is super fun, unanticipated. I didn't know that, now I do. Really great opportunity on a panel to communicate something new. Also clever that this piece of printing is on the same side as this, so it doesn't require you to double side print the box in order to get this panel communication. And then the other one talks about the box is earth friendly inside and out, eat the food, recycle the box. Really great reminder. I'm a big proponent of this. The more you remind people to recycle, the more they do. Let's go in. I've got an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper that tells me what I ordered. Spaghetti, squash, and meatball, chicken tikka masala, some of my faves. Uh, and this is just a normal piece of paper, also fully recyclable. Then I've got my insulation. This is a plastic covered insulation. When I open this, I can see that inside is actual fibrous insulation um, that you can remove from this reflective layer as well. This reflective layer and the plastic is both keeping the insulation dry so it doesn't get wet. And then it's also um, we're actually reflecting heat um, and keeping the box cooler inside. Earth friendly inside and out. Recycle me. Cut insulation open. Place biodegradable denim in the trash. Recycle number four plastic bag. So this is number four plastic that you can actually recycle. Um, and then you take this denim and you can actually also use it in your garden or for other purposes um, because it is something that will degrade over time. And then you can kind of keep going inside what you find next. I love this. It's actually kind of a hot day here. Oh my gosh, this is therapeutic. I don't know if this is what they recommended doing with this. I'm gonna read next. Um, put this on your face. I'm just kidding, it doesn't say that. It says reuse me, store in your freezer as an ice pack. Recycle me, defrost gel pack, cut corner and discard non-toxic water soluble gel and recycle number four plastic bag. 
So you've got some number four plastic coming to you in this box. And it's this bag, it's also the insulation cover. Number four plastic needs to be recycled. Sometimes it can't be put in your bin. It has to be recycled at your grocery store or another local uh, recycling center. I really give Freshly credit for taking so much time to educate me about exactly how to recycle each component, what can go in my bin, what is a number four plastic, because it's often that extra time put in that really results in the behavioral change for customers at home. I don't wanna let this go. I wanna put it in my shirt but I'm gonna not do that because I'm on camera right now. After you get through this, you get into the actual food itself. This is what a Freshly Meals looks like. We're not gonna talk about how delicious it is because that's not what this show is about. We're gonna talk about the carton on the outside. Whee! This is pretty cool. I love this thing because this is so effective in terms of use of materials. It's just a piece of printed, basically thick printed paper. Again, craft color. You'll notice how the craft color and the um, green printing matches the outside of the box. I love the kind of cohesiveness of this and also how easy it is to take this and just throw it into my bin as well. And it tells me exactly what it is. You might notice that this doesn't just fold down flat. How did this get to the Freshly Warehouse? On what magic palette, okay? Well, here's how it works. You actually would peel this apart and this component would have come to Freshly flat packed like this and without the sticker for the nutritional information. So they're giving themselves operational flexibility as well. Let's say that one month um, the squash is coming from a different squash farm and has different nutritional characteristics. Maybe it's a higher in vitamin A squash than any other squash. So they actually need to redo this label. I would love that and I would love them to email me about that. Anyway, they're probably gonna update this label and put it on. So giving themselves the nutrition facts on a label gives more flexibility. And this item can just be pre-printed and it's probably sitting on a pallet in their warehouse ready to rock and roll. Let's take all this delicious food and set it to the side. Okay, all right, funzy. So what I've just realized here, I've got another ice pack in the bottom. So there's refrigeration from the bottom and the top, which really keeps it held in. But what I noticed here is that the insulation is actually two pieces. So two pieces that look like this. One is a wrap around, one is a wrap rudel. Both of these number four plastic that I can just take apart. If you really wanna see how it's done and how fast this can be, I think people get intimidated by this type of thing at home. Don't get intimidated, don't be that person. Just take it right out, number four plastic, there you go. Then peel this puppy off. It's not hard, it's easy. Put that to the side. Now, wear this as a dress. I'm just kidding, don't do that. You could make one of those like 13th century collars, you know? Okay, we're done. RSC style boxes, as I mentioned, need to be open from the bottom as well to actually fold down flat. Now, this box is um, a 44 ECT box. You can tell by the BMC. BMC stands for Box Maker Certificate. In the box world, this is how us box people communicate with each other about what we're looking at. And this is a thicker, um, more durable type of corrugate than would be used on kind of a normal box. It's because they're shipping quite a heavy product, especially with those ice packs. You know what time it is. Roll in the recap time. So freshly packaging, let's talk about a few things that make it really great. One, it's monochrome. And I don't mean black and white, but I mean a single color was used to make it great, and it's this dark green color. It's not as easy as you might think. They're going to a lot of effort to make sure this dark green is the perfect shade, and they're using it on the box and on the actual product itself. Next, they're communicative. What I love about them is they're communicating all the finer details of what I should notice about the product. Everything from some messaging here to explaining that they have an app. I'm getting a lot of detail from the packaging. Next up, complex. Now I don't mean that the packaging itself is complex, but rather that they're making something very complex look simple. There's an incredible supply chain necessary to make chef prepared meals using the finest ingredients, easy for me to just open and warm up at home and have that all be incredibly fresh and ready to go. And that is not easy. And their packaging allows that to be possible. This has been freshly unboxed.